And good evening, how are you all doing? Hope you had a wonderful sixth week for episode Echoes. It is time for week seven. For those interested, I'll be live over on Twitch, uh, streaming the narrative content for this week, as well as pl playing through the new Battlegrounds, um, and possibly doing either a raid or whatever else, depending on what, how time allows for. But for now, let's quickly dive into the update, shall we? Starting off with our core playlist, Rotators. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Over in Vanguard, our GM for this week is the new strike, uh, Lumina Luminality. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the weapon is the slammer, the uh, sword, and it's also double crucible rank rewards. Crucible rank this week. All right, it is also a gambit boost this week for double infinity, and then for crucible it is double rewards and reputation. In addition, to that it is sparrow control, supremacy, and countdown. So good week to get your rank for crystal up if you wanted to and grind out what you need to get the seasonal weapon as well as the uh ornament for it all right for our rotators over in the legends tab it is crota's end this week so if you haven't gotten gotten your necrochasm quest yet or you want to farm out to get the catalyst this is a good week to do it it is also avalon for the exotic glaive from that vexing uh glide mission uh as well as getting all the um Catalyst for it. Our dungeon will be over on the moon with being duality. So there's if you're missing the sword from that still, or any of the crapple weapons, the fusion rifle or the machine gun, this is a good way to grind that out. Over in the Pale Heart, the cooperative focus campaign mission this week is the descent, if you're still looking for those pinnacle rewards. And then the overthrow, if you're still trying to find that grit good roll on Ergo Sum, is over here in the blooming that we can match make with other players. Our Lost Sector for today is over on Neptune, and, and it's going to be the Hydroponics Delta. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. With Anti-Barrier and Unstoppable Champions. Oop. Also on Tomb I shouldn't have closed that. Uh, the weekly Terminal Overloads over in Ashma Park, and the current daily uh, Vex Incursion Zones over here in Zephyr Concourse. <coughs> excuse me. That is it for the Rotators. Fairly simple fairly quick. Uh, don't forget this is also week two of episode Echoes Act 2 uh, and don't remember there is a new battleground this week. I can't remember what it's called. So it'll be the third in the set of three to we get through that last week. But then for our seasonal challenges, whoop, too far for the week excuse me, we have Discoveries 2, Complete Act 2, Part 2 of a Rising Chorus Research and Development 5, complete the research quest for Specimen ID Nest 005. Aggressive Exploration 3, complete the Episode Echoes Battlegrounds Playlist Weekly Challenge. I'm not sure what is required, but apparently I've already completed it. Uh, minor Swing, uh, activate the Simulation Pistons with the Piston Hammer three times. And I believe there's, what, two per battleground so it should be fairly easy as well as the one or two for the uh, original seasonal activity we then have electric shred defeat vex with arc damage and gambit or vanguard ops arcing sparks defeat guardians with arc damage in the crucible and then lastly rapid precision get rapid precision final blows bonus progress is granted for defeating guardians and for defeating, tar defeating target after the second one Excuse me. And just a quick update: if you're still working on the rounds and round we go seasonal challenge, it is 1,000 orbs of power. Since I wasn't 100% sure what it was last week, but now I know for sure, it is a 1,000 orbs of power. All right. So that leaves only the Eververse store, shall we? So let's check out what we have for Bright this week. So on the front page, <coughs> excuse me, we have the desecrated ghost shell from Season of the Witch, in line with the other Wither Horde themed weapons, uh, Sparrow and Ship. We have the Heartbreaking Entrance from Tran Chosen. The Vibrant Medusa Shader. Did 
depending on your style, can can look really good. The neon splash shader from Wish. Once again, more green. I believe it's almost the inverse of the previous one. All right. Then on the Bright Dust page, we have the Drone Flight emote from the 30th anniversary. We then have the Dramatic Countdown emote from a Splicer. The Arc Archangel uh, Might ship from Season of the Lost, I believe. The Azimuth Runner Sparrow from Echoes has a black armory feel to it. The Ionic Fringe Warlock Ornament for Fallen Star from Season of the Deep. Then the Objective Reality Weapon Ornament for Truth from... Oops, excuse me. <laughs> Alley Ornament for Truth from Season of Arrivals. We then have Buried Treasure Ghost Projection. Alright, on the next section we have the Favado Core Shader from Forsaken. Very bright. We then have the Chit and Slate Shader from Undying. Depending on what you're wearing, it could work. The wielded, the welded brass shader. Then the breezy clear shader from Plunder. This is a very bright one. We then have the ossified entrance tremor effect. The Vex incursion entrance. And then finally the renewal entrance from uh, Echoes. Alright, that is it for week 7 of Echoes. Again, I'll be live this evening over on Twitch, link will be in the description, where I'll be playing through the narrative of this week, as well as doing the battleground a few times and hopefully completing the new specimen quest. But, hope you all have a wonderful week, hope you guys get crafted weapon-wise, what you need to get crafted, and do what you need to do farming-wise, and I will see you next video, buddy. Goodbye. <laughs>